But first, we had a chance to talk with Archbishop Alan Vineron of Detroit about Catholic TV and the recent Synod 16 focusing on evangelization. And joining us now is the Archbishop of Detroit, Alan Vineron. Thank you so much for being with Great us, to Archbishop. Be back. Um, I just want to actually uh, get into it a little bit about um, the relationship that Catholic TV has had with uh, Detroit and CTND and uh, how important it is to have a Catholic presence on television and being able to sort of collaborate on this project. Being with you on television is a really a very important resource for us. Uh, we're re looking at communication in the, in the total picture, print, TV, digital, and uh, television is a very important piece of how we present the good news. We want to be a missionary diocese, like Pope Francis says, a, jo a band of joyful missionary disciples. And I think television is in indispensable for that. And especially with uh, so much two out there. Um, it's, it's nice to have a television presence. You have so much digital media now too, which is great to be in too, but also to maintain that Catholic TV presence, I think. Well, I think you, uh, what I'm finding is especially some of my younger co-workers are really adept at thinking about uh, uh, how, they, how they work together and you get synergy from them. I know um, the Synod has been big in Detroit uh, and uh, the, the preparation for that is uh, pretty intensive. Could you talk a little bit about that? I know there were some um, dialogue sessions that were going on through parishes the past. Uh... Well, we set ourselves the task of uh, taking seriously what uh, St. John Paul and Pope Francis have said, we need to be a missionary church. We looked at it and said uh, a Synod would be the right instrument for us. We prepared actually by a year of prayer, and we had uh, kind of a revamp, uh, uh, but something not unlike the old missions, but they were very much focused on the Holy Eucharist, uh, three nights of preaching. We had them in, uh, I think, 30 different parishes in the diocese. That then led to uh, the dialogue sessions, uh, great turnout for that. And now uh, we're going to celebrate the Synod on the basis of what we've heard. Uh, this, uh, uh, we celebrate the Synod around the uh, feast day of Christ the King. And uh, we're very much looking forward to that. Uh, the goal is to change our culture, uh, not just to come up with a program, but to get down to the real foundation of who we are and to make thinking about the mission of evangelization uh, the first question that comes to everybody's mind. Will this help evangelize, help us be evangelizers? And of course we've had, people have heard about synods in, in Rome as well, the synod of the family uh, last year as well. And maybe if you could talk about the importance of that sort of to get people on focus, to sort of concentrate um, on, on a particular. Um... Well, it's a, it's a way to mobilize everybody. I, suppose in a way the secular equivalent of a synod is something like the D-Day invasion. You, you take all of your resources and you focus them together and it becomes central to everybody's way of thinking. So by my lights, whatever, this, uh, whatever the fruits are of the synod, it's already begun insofar as people know this is important. This is already part of their thinking. Uh, I think that's why it's so important. Plus, I mean that's at a human dynamic level, but uh, I mean, at the level of the Holy Spirit, this is how the Holy Spirit has so frequently worked in the church. People uh, come together, their gifts emerge, the gifts the Spirit gave them, and it increases uh, the fruit that comes out of it. And, and just looking ahead, you, you just touched on a little bit, but. That, uh, when the synod, uh, the, the results from that come in, is it sort of going to be a process now, a taking away from what, what happened? Well, uh, I've been uh, reaffirming to the members that they have to come there not as representatives of one point of view or another, but, but they're members of this body, and they have to perform their uh, honest discernment about what they see in the light of the work of the Holy Spirit. They're going to tell me that, but then it becomes my job to discern what does this all mean and in the light of what you've seen what do I see about where we need to go so uh, this ends uh, more or less the end of November uh, I have some months to pray and think about it to have other consultation if I need that and I expect by Pentecost 
to tell people in light of what you, what the Holy Spirit has shown you and you've shared with me, this is where uh, I think we need to go. We well, thank you and we wish you all the best in the Synod coming up and thank you for uh, taking time well, to talk no, with God's us. God's powerfully at work. Uh, Pope Benedict said uh, the church is young and I feel like that. Well, thank you, Archbishop. You're very welcome.